Hi, I've had a lot of questions recently about how you can watch iFlix or Hook on your TV. So I thought I'd try out a few different ways of doing it and then show you the results. Now bear in mind that both of these are quite newly launched. So the chances are that just because something doesn't work now doesn't mean they're not going to work when you watch this video. So if you see something that's now wrong, for instance if you're watching this in a month, three months or six months, just let me know in the comments section I'll be able to update the video to reflect the change. Now most laptops or desktops have some kind of video output option. In this case it's a mini display port. I bought this cheap adapter from CDR King which converts the mini display port to HDMI. So I can get the HDMI cable from my TV, plug it in and then duplicate my screen onto the TV. So let's plug this in. So you can see I have iFlix on the laptop and it's being duplicated onto the bigger screen. So let's try and open a movie. I'll go for Watchmen click play and you can see it's now streaming the movie let's jump ahead and there you go you can see that it's streaming on the laptop and it's also streaming on the TV so of course that's the simplest way of doing it and of course we can also do the same with hook so you can see I've got it open on the laptop and it's being duplicated onto the bigger screen and if I try and open a movie So you can see it plays okay. Let's try and skip ahead. There you go, no problems. So although this might not be the most convenient way, it is the easiest way. And if you've already got a laptop or a computer, then it's a pretty simple way of doing it. But it's not my preferred method because you have to have your laptop or desktop hooked up to the TV at all times. It's kind of a hassle, but it is one way that works. Now of course one method that a lot of people would want to use is to airplay from their iPhone to the big screen or from the iPad. Now if I launch iFlix you see that you can scroll around and you can open videos and it looks like it's going to work. It will even ask you if you want to resume so we can resume. But the problem is it doesn't actually work. It would just sit there like this and it would never start playing. So it looks like it's going to work, but unfortunately it doesn't. So at the moment, Apple AirPlay is not an option. Now, if you have an Android phone which supports Miracast and your TV supports Miracast, you can stream your screen to that. So let's open iFlix, click play, click resume. And you'll see that here it does actually work. So the stream works OK. I can go back, I can go forwards and it streams OK. The and if we try hook, we'll open Hellboy. You can see that it also works fine with hook. So Android mirror casting works very well, unlike AirPlay, which doesn't work unfortunately. Sticks. Now this is the CDR King TV stick. Uh, it runs Android 4.0, which is a little bit old now, but it's still okay. Um, now this is actually a MK802, which has one gig of RAM. You can look up the specs for yourself. But basically you plug it into your TV using a mini HDMI cable and you have an Android TV. Now the Amazon Fire TV is very similar, um, but it runs a custom version of Android which has got the Amazon stuff on top basically. So I'm going to be testing both of these with Hook, um, the Android application of Hook, and see how they perform. Now let me start by saying that the Hook application is not made for these kind of sticks and it's not made for big TV streaming, so don't expect it to work very well and don't be surprised if there's issues. This is really just a proof of concept or test. Um, I don't expect it to perform well and I don't think it really reflects on whether or not it's a good application. So let's start with this CDR King one and plug it in. So you can see I have the hook application already installed. I just installed it through the Play Store like you would on a regular Android cell phone or tablet. So let's go ahead and launch the application. So here we go, it looks very similar or pretty much identical to if you ran it on a tablet. Let's try and watch this movie. Click play. There we go. Now I'm just going to mute the audio for copyright reasons. 
let's skip forwards a bit. You can see the quality isn't great, but usually after 5 or 10 seconds of buffering, it smooths out and gets a bit better. As you can see, we've got what appears to be a fairly smooth image. Let's jump forwards again, see if we can get an action shot. Or at least something else going on. As for downloaded content, I downloaded one of my favourite TV shows. Dilbert. Let's try play that. Hmm, didn't work. So here we are with the Fire TV and I'll just go down to my apps and launch Hook. Again I couldn't get iFlix to install on here and because I'm expecting it to operate the same I don't really want to waste the time trying to work out how to do it. So let's launch Hook. I would say it's a bit smoother on the Amazon Fire TV compared to the lower powered Android TV stick. Let's try and open a secret affair. Now this is the problem that I sometimes experience on the Fire TV stick. But it just seems to be random. Let's try and open something else. Let's try open dirt. Okay, let's resume. You can see it's much more responsive on the Fire TV compared to the Android stick. So you can see it seems to be playing okay, and I think we've got more frames per second. It's still not super smooth, but it's definitely better than the CDR King Android stick. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Um, if you have any other ideas about how you can watch these services on the big screen, put them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe.